Good evening, my brothers and sisters. It's good to be with you again as we continue our Advent reflections. Uh, just a short note in terms of apology. I didn't post any content in the last two days simply because I had meetings that ran in the evening portion and uh, I didn't have the foresight to pre-record my stuff in the morning, so that's my bad. Um, but I wanted to think about uh, one of the themes heading into week two. So typically there is um, themes with Advent um, and there hope, peace, joy, and love. Those are the four. So we've gone through week one, which focuses in on hope and what uh, God has done for us and is doing for us now and will do for us in the future. And this week, starting tomorrow, we look towards the theme of peace. And I thought that by doing uh, or working out this theme, I might concentrate on the Lord's Prayer. Uh, and I can't take any credit for these reflections. They come mostly from a treatise on the Lord's Prayer by St. Cyprian of Carthage. Each week, or each day this week, I'll be taking a line or a few lines from the prayer and unpacking it just a bit. So let's start at the beginning, which, according to Maria von Trapp, is a very, very good place to start. Our Father, who art in heaven. This first line gives us two vital pieces of information. The first is that God is our Father. It's important to point out that this is not something that is abstract or just a title that he holds, but rather God is our Father because he is the one who created us. More than that, we are told by Jesus, the one we follow, the one we love, the one we devote ourselves to, that God is indeed our Father, who looks after us, who counts the hairs on our head, who makes note of the ways in which we build up the kingdom. He is our Father, and He is the one who helps us to grow, to mature, to live out the dream of faith the dream of the kingdom, as all good parents do. We're also told that he is in heaven. And heaven is not necessarily in the context of the gospel, meant as this geographical place. But as N.T. Wright and others point out, heaven is meant to mean the place where God is. We pray in the time of Advent that the kingdom of heaven, the place where God dwells, comes and comes soon. Right? We pray that at the coming of Christmas, what we'll celebrate in just a very short time, that God's kingdom will be made manifest, will be made real, will be able to be seen. And each time we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, we acknowledge one who loves us, who made us, and is indeed coming to rule over us with justice and with peace. Amen. Amen. Amen.